Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MatTube. This is lesson number 7 in less than 20 minutes, specially made for the new syllabus 2080 for engineering mathematics. And follow us every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Anyway, this is the final lesson in L'Hopital's rule. Okay, how many of you tried this question? In the last video, I gave one question. And I told you this tan x divided by x will be equal to 1 if x is very small. So we get 1 power infinity. We learn many problems related to 1 power infinity, infinity power 0, 0 power 0 like that. What is the method? You call the given limit as capital L. And then you take logarithm on both sides. And simplify a little bit. I hope you will agree with me. Because 1 by A multiplied by B can be written as B divided by A. Can you see? 1 by A multiplied by B can be written as B divided by A. So I am sure up to this you don't have much problem. We keep the left side as such because uh, we cannot apply L'Hopital's rule on both sides. We can apply only for the limit. I saw so many students getting stuck with this part. Look at this. This is where we need chain rule. Those who do not know chain rule, pause the video right now. I have kept one video for chain rule and implicit function. So look at this. We have log something. It is not log x. And the derivative of log something is 1 by the same stuff. What is the derivative of log something? 1 by the same thing. And do you know what happens if you have 1 by a by b? It becomes b by a. So I am going to write the next step. I am going to apply L'Hopital's rule. So, I have to differentiate numerator and denominator separately. Denominator is so simple, I wrote 2x. Now, log something. 1 by the same thing. Multiplied by. How are you going to differentiate this something? Very simple. u by v rule. Denominator. Derivative of the numerator. Minus numerator into derivative of denominator that happens to be 1. The whole divided by denominator squared. So look at this. I am differentiating log something. I hope you are okay with that. Now I have an advantage. In the last video I told you whenever I get a standard limit which is connected with the other part as a product, we are allowed to apply the limit. So the green part will become 1 and soon it disappears because 1 multiplied by something will be the remaining part. Now I am going to simplify this. I hope you know what is a by b, the whole divided by c. That is a by b division c. That is a by b multiplied by 1 by c. Anyway, using this, can you see? A by B, the whole divided by C. Anyway, <coughs> I'm going to simplify this. So I'll get log L equal to X into 6 squared X minus tan X, the whole divided by 2 into X cube. Anyway, I don't like the number inside, so I'll put 1 by 2 outside. Now let me test the limit. 0 into something minus 0, 0 divided by 0. So as usual, we are going to apply L'Hopital's rule. That will be 1 by 2. Limit x tends to 0. I will be very happy to know how are you planning to differentiate this product rule. And how do you differentiate 6 squared x? 6 squared x can be written as 6x the whole square. 
So it looks like something square. You know the derivative of x square is 2x. So the derivative of something square will be 2 into same thing multiplied by sec x tan x. So I'm going to apply product rule. First function into derivative of second multiplied by, I already told you how this works plus second function into derivative of x that is 1. So look at this. This is the differentiation of x into say x squared x minus tan x will become whole divided by 3x squared. That is good news. These two got cancelled. So 1 by 2. Now there is 1 by 3 coming outside and limit x tends to 0. 2 into x into 6 squared x into tan x divided by x squared. So this 2 and 2 will get cancelled. x and x will get cancelled. Ah, that's good news. That's good news. For my advantage, for my advantage, I'm going to write this as, can you guess? I'll write 6 squared x here. And I'm going to write this as tan x by x. And this comes as an independent product. So this will be 1 by 3 into 6 square row. That will be 1 multiplied by 1. That is 1 by 3. Log L equal to 1 by 3. So L equal to e to the power 1 by 3. This problem is very important. Uh, make sure you try the same question once more. Now, let's go to something very similar to this. What is sin x divided by x? Those who are confident with the last problem, pause the video, try this yourself. If you are able to solve it, congrats. If you are not able to solve it, then watch the video and then try to work out by yourself. Okay, so sin x by x, if x is very small, is 1. So I'm going to get 1 to the power infinity. As usual, give it a name, take logarithm, and like before, we got 0 divided by 0 because log 1 will be 0 by 0 square is 0. Now, what am I supposed to apply? L'Hopital's rule. So this time, I'm sure that you'll feel differentiation is like really easy. Log something. Uh, let me put the limit. Denominator is 2x. Okay, log something. 1 by same thing multiplied by quotient rule x into cos x minus sin x multiplied by 1 by x squared. This is a standard limit. I'm going to utilize my standard limit because it is a product related to the remaining part. So it's going to become 1. 1 multiplied by something will be the remaining part. Now I'm going to simplify this and I'm going to end up with come on, you tell me. I'm going to get x cos x minus sin x divided by 2x cube which 2 will go outside. x cube will be here. Again I got 0 divided by 0 which means I'm going to apply L'Hopital's rule again. So, limit x tends to 0. Can you see a product? x into minus sin x plus cos x multiplied by 1 minus, don't forget this term, cos x, good news, by 3x square, limit x tends to 0, minus goes outside x into sin x by x squared, cut cut, so we get 1. So the final answer will be log L equal to minus 1 by 6, L will be equal to e power minus 1 by 6. I hope you understood the method. Now I have a small gift for you. I want you to try these problems. Look at this. These are very, very, very important question. 
right now you might have understood how to deal with such problems but unless and until you work out a lot of questions you will never be confident so i want you to work out one two three four five these are very important questions you can look at the past paper you will see these questions being repeated in your past paper anyway to be honest you don't have past paper questions because it's a new syllabus but still you can use the past paper from old syllabus so that you get a rough idea what they used to ask now there is one more problem and after that we will wind up the video so this is kind of like different so limit x tends to 0 we have a question and it is given it is finite and the question includes a alphabet and we are supposed to find that value so they have written find the value of a anyway since the given limit is finite and since the given limit is 0 by 0 I am applying L'Hopital's rule oh ok I forgot to tell you please do support our videos you can like you can put comments, you can send donations, you can join our Viber group. So keep on supporting and let's go back to the problems. So look at this. We have 0 divided by 0. So I am applying L'Hopital's rule here. A cos x minus, what is the derivative of sin x? It is cos x. Sin something, cos the same thing multiplied by and how do you differentiate tan cube x? We have to imagine it is tan x the whole cube. So it is something to the power 3. So 3 into tan x the whole square multiplied by sec squared x. Once more I will repeat. How do you differentiate tan cube x? We write tan cube x as tan x the whole cube. It looks like x cube. It looks like something cube. So we differentiated and now I am applying the limit. This is a critical step. Look at this. I tried to apply. So a into 1 minus 2 into 1 divided by 0 is equal to finite. But we know that if something gets divided by 0, the quantity becomes very, 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 very large. When x becomes very nearer to 0, the fraction becomes very large. So what I have written is, uh, like what you call not sensible. I am writing infinity on one side and I am writing equal to finite on the other side. And the only possibility is A should become 2. So that it remains as an indeterminate form. So that's it. We got the value A equal to 2. By the way, you can try the same problem with the help of series also, but this is the easiest method. Now they ask one more thing in the question. Evaluate the limit. Hence, evaluate the limit. So I know the value of A. I plugged the value of A. Now it is 0 by 0. Obvious. So I am applying L'Hopital's rule. Which I am going to uh, leave it for you. Anyway, I will just scroll through the solution. Try it yourself. Because there are like huge differentiations. I hope you are okay with the derivatives. Anyway, comment the answer below. So that's it. Now your job is take past paper questions. I mean from the old syllabus. And take any book that you like. And work out a lot of problems. Then only you will get marks. When you watch the video, you can understand like 50 to 60%. And when you work out along with me, it might become up to 80%. But for marks, you should definitely work out a lot, lot, lot of questions. So my friends, I'll be back with the next topic in the next video that is asymptotes. So till then my friends, 